Welcome back, all you little fuzzy pony people, to another epic stick figure drawing tutorial. If you guys have not seen my other stick figure drawing tutorials, I highly suggest you go back and see them. They're equally as awesome as this one. So you guys, recently I bought the Barry DLC for Black Ops 2, and that adds a whole new zombies map, plus four other multiplayer maps. It's a pretty cool DLC, you should go look it up. But I decided that this, well that is a really cool pack, so I'm going to kind of have an inspired drawing tutorial. I'm going to draw zombie, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 zombie guns. So, let's get started. Of course, always you're going to need your paper and your pencil to draw stuff. Alright, so I'm going to start off with one of the cool wonder weapons in this game, the Ray Gun and the Ray Gun Mark II. They're both really cool. Ray Gun Mark II you can only get in the Buried DLC, just so you guys know. Alright, so I'm going to start off here, just normal stick person, and the Ray Gun, the first one, Mark One, they don't really call it that, is retextured in a lot of different ways. I'm going to draw it the way that I know best. If you guys know other ways, that's fine. Just, I'm doing this. So when you're drawing the Ray Gun, the first one, you're going to kind of draw a backwards popsicle, or not really a popsicle, but a lollipop. Draw like a stick with a circle towards the back. And then after that, it's a very, fairly simple weapon to draw. All you want to do is... Uh, I don't know about that. I think I'll give it a little bit of a slant. The barrel's going to go slant together. There you go, that looks a little better. And then we'll have it go like this. And then here's the trigger right there. It has a very big um, trigger case, as you guys know if you ever play that game. Um, one of the textures, I think it might be the Origins texture, that has a really big trigger case like that. So just kind of make the gun into a point, and if you want it firing, the Raygun Mark II fires out little, or Mark I, excuse me, fires out little circles, kind of like that. Just pew! Um, here, we'll draw a zombie that you're shooting it at. He'll be over here running for his life. If you guys have seen my zombie video, this is how I draw my zombies. Just draw them with a little random mouth. Alright, that looks pretty cool. Let's move on to the Raygun Mark II. I keep mentioning it because I'm so excited. If you guys have ever seen it in the box, it's a really big weapon. And you can actually have to hold it with two hands, but yet you can hold it while you're down. So it counts as a pistol, if you can believe that. Um, let's see here. So when you're drawing the Raygun Mark II, it's pretty much like a rifle. But you can... It's a pistol and a rifle. That's why it's a wonder weapon. Because people wonder, what the heck. So it's somewhat like the original ray gun. There's a circle at the back, and there's a big, long thing of all this stuff. Just kind of do this. And at the front, there's like a little stabby, sort of like a blade almost on it. There's two of them, so just do it like that. These aren't really like blades. I guess, I don't really know what they are. They're just kind of decoration. So inside of here, it's got like a little panel, and it's got all this random little technology stuff all over it. And then towards the front, there's like a little grill, a bunch of dots. And then the same thing with the circle design and the little frills here. And then do it like this and like that. There you go. Here's your Raygun Mark II. That kind of made it a bit far away from my guy, but that's fine. And if we want this shooting, it shoots out three round burst. But, of course, you can shoot them in rapid succession. So that kind of looks like a really big gun to me. I don't know. Let's flip it over. What other guns are exclusive to zombies? Mm -hmm. In Black Ops 2, the Galil is exclusive to zombies, but people know what that looks like already. we got to think of something original. How about the FAL? Because the FAL is kind of retextured for zombies compared to the multiplayer version. So, as most of my guns go, you start off with a, a rectangle or a square. And I'm making this one a big one. So you're going to want to, you're going to want to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, draw the stock of the gun right here. Ooh, this kind of looks like the Bowie knife. I'll save that for later. Shh. Okay, so this kind of looks like the stock of the gun here. And the FAL has a little circle on the front. And all the way down the barrel here, it has... This little iron sight attachment, as you can see. Um, I didn't really mean for it to look like it has, like, it almost looks like it has attached muzzle on it, but that's too bad. So, it has 
this little, um, I forget what you call this thing. It's sort of like a hammer on a gun, but it, it's pretty much used for reloading. They have it on semi-auto rifles. And then it has this big, long clip that goes down to here. This almost looks like the MP40 in a way, but it's not. So then you would draw the trigger case and the bullet and the trigger, of course. Where else would the trigger be? And I think I'm going to make the stock just a little bit bigger. Um, this mag is just a little bit too long. Alright, that looks like a pretty weird version, actually. Let's move on to one of my favorite guns. This is featured in Origins. They call it the MP40. So I'm going to draw this one pretty small. I'll draw a guy with it. So, yeah. Alright, so pretty much you just draw a really wrong, long, skinny rectangle. Wrong. Not speaking right today. Alright, and so same thing with this. It's got a little circle here and a little tiny uh, thing there. I forget what you call that. Do excuse my random forgetting this. Alright, so it looks like this. And then here's our trigger case right there. And then... All the way out in the front here, it's got this really long, skinny mag. That's why, if you see on the Origins box, kind of, when you start it up, Nikolai is holding this thing with a mag grip, because it's that long. And there's really no other place to hold it. Alright, so let's get on here. Oh, i got to finish drawing this guy first. That looks a little long for the mag still. I'm going to make it shorter. Do not be afraid to erase. There we go, that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to move on to some of the attachments. They're not really attachments, but knives. There are different types of knives you can get. And one of them is the Bowie knife. And it's a pretty simple thing to draw. I'm going to draw it big, and then I'll draw it small. So pretty much the Bowie knife is like a big machete. If you guys know what that is. It's a simple line. And then there's this, sort of like a cutlass almost. Maybe a bone saw, too. And here, I'm actually going to get rid of this whole bottom edge and give it a serrated edge. If you guys know what serration is on a knife, it's these little zigzags. So to make a serrated edge, you want to be really subtle. You don't want to be doing that like this, because then it looks weird. So, just scratch that. Pretend it has weird stuff. So, I'm going to draw a scene here with a guy knifing a zombie with the bowie knife. And if you use the bowie knife, you know that it has a weird kind of swing when you swing it's very slow and it kind of gets caught in the zombie as you're swinging so I'm gonna have the zombie kind of kneeling like he's losing his stuff he'll be clutching at his throat like ah oh my gosh so we'll have the bowie knife here Just draw it like that and then I'll have my guy right here just be like mm, swing it in your face boy um, it's kind of hard to illustrate the swinging motion. I guess I could do this. Little dash lines here. And then we'll have, of course, the blood. All out the back end. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Kind of sorry for the gory sound effects. I do that when I draw. If you guys notice... If you go to draw a scene like this, there you are most certainly going to be making noises because that's just how you do it. All right, so let's draw the galvan knuckles. Galvan knuckles on the wall are really kind of just weird. It's just like a little rectangle with four circles. There you go. Because as if you see, it's pretty much like a brass knuckle. You put it in your hand, and there's like a big rectangle box here, so you can electrocute them. Psh, psh, psh. All right. I'm sorry. I'm making sound effects again. So, we'll draw a guy um, hitting a zombie with the galvan knuckles. So, it's pretty much like a punching motion. So, we're going to have the zombie being flown back a little bit. Um, then we'll have the guy right here. Kind of... Just going to draw his fist right there, just a little bit away from the zombie. And then we'll add in our galvan knuckle. From the side, I draw it like a little triangle with a very flat top. It's like that, and then we'll kind of draw a little lightning bolt effects going into it. Because the galvan knuckles do electrocate the zombies. They electrocute them. Electrocate, what the heck. And then I'll just draw a little line in the background, just simulating like a background. Alright, let's go on to one more zombie unique gun. This is one of my favorites for the lower rounds. I call it the python. Well, 
That's what everyone calls it. All right, so we got to be quick here. Video's almost over. So I'm going to draw this big, and I'm not going to draw it small. If you want to see it small, too bad. So Python is a six-shot revolver, and it does have a really big thing. Let's get that a bit smaller. All right, and then back here, it's got this really kind of angled down, almost like a six, like old western six-shooter gun. Here's the trigger case. There's a little sight. There we go. It's called sight. This this is called the sight. Ah, oh, brain fart. Ugh. Oh my gosh. And so when I draw um, this little thing on guns, I don't know what this is called now. Uh, it's not called barrel mag. I guess we'll call it mag. I don't really know what that is on a revolver. <sighs> I'm forgetting all the gun terms. We draw that. I like to add these little lines right here. All right, you guys. Thank you for watching the stick figure drawing tutorial. If you liked it. Please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and check out my other drawing tutorials if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Something stupid off. Bye.